Hi, my pretty friends and all the beautiful people who are watching. So today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about my new life and why living your best life is the new niche. So before I jump into this video, I'm going to head to Starbucks to get my day started. It's about close to 10.30 where I'm at and I really just wanna go and get that pink drink that I've been seeing everybody on the internet talking about. So I'm gonna go get that. I'm usually a Dunkin' Donuts girl, but they've been messing up my order where I live. I'm so sick and tired of it, so sick and tired of wasting my money. So I'm gonna head to Starbucks, get my drink, get some things done, and then I'm gonna come back, sit down, and talk to you guys all about how I lost myself, found myself, and intentionally did everything that I needed to do to be where I'm at today. So keep watching to the end of this video, and I hope you guys enjoy. Check out my outfit for the day. So I'm wearing these cute cream sandals with a matching cream bag, these cute ripped jean shorts, and this top that I got from Amazon. Wow, I love this corset style top with these cute ties. That blue is amazing. I got the top from Amazon. Again, I will link it in my description. And my hair, I'm wearing clip-in extensions. I just have it pulled back. I will link where I got my clip-ins from as well. But this is the full look. I am loving it. I got my pink drink. Oh my God, it's so pretty. And I know it tastes so good. So I'm literally here outside at Starbucks. They have a little outdoor seating area. So I'm going to sit down here and get some work done. just got back in from Starbucks. I had a great day today. It was super productive. I got a lot of content for this upcoming week and I'm just ready to get right into this video. It's a little later now, almost close to eight o'clock and um, yeah, I had a great day today. So I, I literally like right when I came back from Starbucks, they had a pool party over there. So I stopped and went over there. They had slushies and everything. It was really nice. So don't mind my blue tongue. But yeah, if y'all ready to get into this video, I'm ready to get into it. I feel like the video is long overdue. Um, we're getting real transparent, so. So first off, I just wanna say that this video is for anyone who is ready to take control of your life and live it the best way that you possibly can. It's not just about, you know, my life and how I choose, you know, my new life and how I choose to live it moving forward. I want this video to be an eye opener for anyone who is ready to make a change that can really change your life for the better. So for the last two to three years, I've been really struggling with staying consistent in my business as well as my life and showing up the way that I know I should and in the way I know that I can. I don't know where the time is going, but it is flying. I feel like we were all just stuck for two years just going with the flow uh, during the pandemic. And now things are going back to normal and we're all just kind of being forced to pivot into, you know, what's next. And it's a lot that's next. And, you know, it's just so much for everyone. I feel like we all just have to take care of ourselves, be patient with ourselves, be there for those around us, pray for each other. I just want all of us to be mindful of that. Number one, when it comes to creating this new life, you can't decide to want to create a new life and not be able to reflect and, you know, see what's going on around you and just kind of have some compassion. So when you want better, you do better. Basically, I realized that there was a problem in my life that I really wanted to change. I realized that I just did not really want to do anything. I didn't want to get up to do anything with my business or in my life, like I just didn't really want to do anything. You know, I would get sad about random things. My mental was just going through the ringer and back, kind of losing sight of what it is that 
I wanted when I originally got started. Also working really hard and never really hitting that pinnacle or you know reaching what it is that I really wanted to do. Like these are all things that I realized when I'm like, you know, I have to change the way that I'm living my life and the way that I'm moving forward because I don't feel like I'm motivated. Like what it is that I'm currently doing at this phase in my life, it's not motivating enough to push me to the next phase. Like I've been there, I've been doing this for so long. Um, it'll be almost 10 years that I've been in business and 10 beautiful, amazing up and downs, I mean, crazy years, but I realized that, you know, something just wasn't pushing me the same way that it was pushing me to get up out the bed and get started and, you know, just go for it. So when I realized that that was the problem, that was the first step to me pushing forward to figuring out my new life. Also, where my family is concerned, I feel like I was so overwhelmed with all of the things that was literally tearing me down, you know, breaking me down that I was not able to be there the way that I really wanted to be with, you know, and for my family. Um, so I live about an hour away from my mom and my sisters. So it was, you know, like lateness, like I'm always late all over the place. Like if you know me, you know, I'm always late. That is something that I've been wanting to change and fix for the longest. And these realizations help me realize like time is not, you know, like time is going, time is flying. Like these things that you've been wanting to do, these things that you've always wanted to do, you, you got to get to them. You have to make a way. And so again, this is how, you know, I'm coming across this journey of, you know, living this new life where I'm happy, I'm pleased, and there's so much to come for me. Um, and this is why this video is titled, Why Living Your Best Life is the New Niche. So who actually gets tired of living their best life? Like, nobody gets tired of living their best life. Like, if I got an opportunity to live my best life every single day, Trust me, I'm going to take that opportunity and I know anybody else would. So when you realize, like you think, like how could I be possibly living my best life every single day? You realize you, you, you're you in a box and you got to step out that box. You got to stop boxing yourself in. So you might be doing a bunch of things that you really don't want to be doing because you feel like you have to do it or you don't see a way out. You don't see a different way of doing it. There could be plenty of reasons why you may be boxing yourself and you may be scared to step out. Um, and that, for me, that was my reason. Um, I feel like straight out of high school, I've been straight into fashion design, sewing my handmade clothing, um, you know, sending people handmade designs, doing custom work. I even had the one-stop shop, Lux Life, Tiara McFadden brand, Down Seems of a Socialite. I've literally stuck, you know, straight on that path. Um, even though I launched a blog years later, it was all within the realm of fashion design. I never gave myself a chance to actually step out that box and try something completely different, you know? When I started to focus on the things that I no longer wanted to do is when my vision on living my best life every single day became, you know, much clearer. So I decided to take a step back from everything and worry about the consequences of all of that at a later time because my life is what's important. My life is what matters. And, you know, I have to keep the momentum going for me. So taking that time really gave me a chance to overcome my struggles. And I'm gonna tell you guys right now exactly what I did to overcome everything. The first thing that I decided to do was prioritize self-care. So I told you guys, like, I did not want to do anything. Like, I felt like I could not get up to do anything. I wasn't as motivated. So I needed to get myself, get back to myself. I need to find myself again. So I just basically did, you know, focus on everything that I wanted to fix. So I prioritized skincare. Um, I was going through a lot of stress and I was experiencing so much acne and I never, like, I was, Oh my God, I always got complimented for having such good skin. And I hit this like adult acne phase and I just felt like it was getting so, I had to I had to handle it, I had to handle it. So I was like, you know what? I know that that is something that will make me feel good, the result of taking care and prioritizing skincare. Um, so I did that. Um, I also prioritized hair growth. I had my hair goals and I, you know, was hitting those. And then I just began to like romanticize my life as they say it now. So that just means like 
everything that I did that I actually wanted to do, I would get up. So if that meant making breakfast, I would like plan exactly what I wanted to make and, you know, get up and put my cute pajamas on and just do everything like the way that I wanted to do it. So that I became excited to do things like that again. And that's kind of just how that started. The second way that I overcame my struggles is just being more open with myself to the fact that I should probably go see a therapist. I feel like um, a lot of people don't really take that as serious as they should. And I do feel like mental health is so important, especially in the black community. Um, it's, it's terrible and I, I, I'm going through something and I feel like I need to seek therapy so I can really imagine how many things other people are going through that they, you know, don't even understand, you know, or just they don't even know how to treat other people or deal with it the way that it should be dealt with because they don't have anybody to speak with. They don't even have a therapist. So I'm just very open to the fact of, you know, the idea of going to see a therapist. And I'm so excited because I finally made my first appointment. So that definitely was a step in the right direction as well. Okay, so the third thing that I did was I started journaling a lot more. So I've always been a journaler. I've always been a writer, like always since I was a kid. But I started to journal more, like journaling being really, you know, more direct with the things that I want and spending more alone time. So alone time is so important. I feel like you have so much time to sit, think about your thoughts, just think about everything that's going on in your life and find a way to fix it. You know, you can't get through a struggle or get through anything when you don't even know what the problem is. And sometimes we tend to not know what the problem is because we surround ourselves with so many things to keep us distracted. So alone time and journaling. So basically with journaling, <laughs> I would literally just take out my notebook and write stuff down like today I just want I would just wake up in the morning I would sit down and I would literally write I want to wake up every single day and do exactly what it is that I want to do I just that's what I wanted like that's exactly what I wanted I don't care if I don't I no longer want to do the things that I don't want to do anymore and I simply don't care if those things are even paying me like it's to that point where it's just like I want to do literally the things that I know that I want to do. It's just that simple. So I would journal and write those things down. I would write a list out. I would say like um, a healthy eating. And I would write a list of amazing recipes that I saw on Instagram. Uh, better lifestyle, things that I wanted to do, business ideas. Um, just, just about anything. I would just write massive lists. And I realized that with time... I was getting to those lists, like times when I didn't know what I wanted to do or was literally not doing anything. I would just open up my book and go through the list and start doing something on that list because everything on the list were things that I actually did want to do anyway. So it just worked out. But that just goes to show like everything that I started to do to overcome my struggles are things that I knew would prepare me for where I am today. Like you see me right now, I'm like, in front of the camera talking to you guys like had I not prioritized my skin had I not prioritized romanticizing my life I don't know if I would have been able to come up with like you know a storyline for this video um my hair all those things like I feel like now here I am sitting down letting the world know because obviously this is going out there but letting the world know that you know this is my new life and you know these are the changes that I've made to get here and it just goes to show me that me working on those things actually is the reason why I'm comfortable enough to sit here and do my thing right now. So take that or leave that right there. Okay, so we are really getting into this. So the last thing that I did to overcome my struggles was I got back to all of the things that I loved to do as a kid. So with that alone time and all the time that I spent to myself, I really started to think, I'm like, girl, like, cause I'm like, what do I really like to do? Like, what do I want? I know what I'm currently doing is not what I want to really be focusing on, focusing and doing right now. So like, what is it that I really do want to be doing? You know, like, and you know, as soon as I started to really think hard, I went back to the things that I like to do as a kid. And I'm like, wow, like, the things that I did as a kid was not sewing. It really wasn't. Like, that's something that I picked up as, um, you know, after, like, I 
learned in high school, but then after high school is really when I, you know, decided to pursue it as a business. But when I was a kid, like, I really thought I would be like a hairstylist. I was so good at doing hair. Like, that was my first hustle. You know how you know when you're gonna be a hustler? I literally would get paid by my family members to do my little cousin's hair. My mom would pay me to do my sister's hair. Like I literally would do my sister's hair all the time. Um, even my best friend, my childhood best friend when I was younger, her mom used to pay me to do her hair. So I was always a hustler. Like I started from young. Um, but most of all, what I really loved to do was nails. I used to do all of my family members and friends nails and toes. I, like, oh my God, I was so crisp with the French. Oh my goodness, I did everything. And that shows me why I'm like so into press on nails. These are actually press on nails. I'm very into stuff like that. So, you know, I realize now while I'm in my life, I remember like when the pandemic first hit, I was doing press-ons and I was showing that in a tutorial and I remember being like, should I be showing that I'm doing press-ons? Like, I don't want people to be like, oh, she's cheap, you know, like, but I'm like, so what? I don't, I, I'm not the, the girl that is going to be so hype about spending $100 every two weeks on nails and toes. Like, I get my toes done religiously and my nails done, but I usually do give my nails a break and sometimes I will give them a long break and, and do my press-ons. I love it. So... Basically, yeah, I love to do nails. Um, I was a photographer when I was young. Like, when I tell y'all, I always had the camera. Every birthday, every Christmas, I had it way before Instagram was a thing, Tumblr, MySpace, all of that stuff, way before Facebook, way before that. If you go on my Facebook now, you'll see like albums, like a bunch of albums full of pictures from years ago. Like I would take pictures and my friends would be like, oh, did you get the pictures back? Did you edit them yet? Send them to me, please. Like I would, and I was doing all of this stuff for free. These are things that I genuinely love doing. Like I genuinely love doing it. And I'm like, you know, along the way, I also taught myself business. Like I've grown to be such a great businesswoman these 10 years in business. And it's just like, I started as a kid. These are things that I love doing that I really want to get back to. Like, I just launched a blog and all of a sudden I became a sewing pattern designer. I'm like, what, like, what, what is going on? I remember when I just got started, like the biggest goal was just like, I'm going to sew my clothes because I want to be a model. And that was the, the best way that I knew how to get my foot in the door. Instagram became a thing. And I'm like, wow, you know, like people are getting down on this app so I can make my clothes and model them. So that was always my goal, to be a model. I, I wanted to be a designer as well. I wanted to be an accountant. I took a business in accounting in high school and you know, when I did some college, but literally my dream, I had, I always had these super huge, big dreams and it all, it all came down to me literally going crazy, putting out sewing tutorials for this big sewing community that I grew in two years. It, it grew overnight, like it grew so quick. And I turned into that and I'm like, what is life? Like, what is life? What is life? I, I don't know what happened. I lost sight tremendously. So me going back to the things that I love to do as a kid is what kind of helped me. And like, that was like the last piece of that, those, the puzzles to get it all together. Like that's when I really became happy again. I'm like, oh my goodness, like, yes. Like the, the mornings, oh my goodness, the sun was shining brighter. I'm not even lying. Like go dig back, dig deeper. Take the time out to dig deeper into you. Figure out what it is that you love doing and do that. Like just do it. Everything else will fall into place. I mean, I know people work jobs and they have, you know, side hustles and everybody's doing what they want to do, but there's so many ways now. The, the society that we live in now, there's so many ways to make money literally doing what you love. It makes no sense to waste time doing something that you absolutely hate. You're just wasting time. Like that time you can never get back. So stop wasting your time. Like me, I'm done wasting my time. Like this is my new life. And I'm letting you guys know right now exactly why living your best life is the new niche. They try to box you in. Oh, start a business doing this, start a business doing that. Like, why can I do it all? Why can I just do it all? Isn't it called content creation? Why can't I just do what it is that I want to do? Let me just wake up and do what it is that I want to do. If sewing is something that I like to do and I want to do it on the side when I want to do it, I will do that. If I like to take pictures of my handmade outfits, which I won best dress in high school, that's another thing as a kid. Like, I was always styling. Like, I won best dress in high school. 
like clothing. I don't even buy clothes anymore because I make everything. That sucks the fun out of everything, you know? Where I live at, I live in an area where it's so peaceful, it's so quiet. I love where I live at, I really do. But adding so into that equation, equation, you know, more than half of the day, every day, really starts to take a toll on you. I, I'm a young woman and I wanna be young and I want to get back to those ways of like when I was hand making and modeling my stuff, simply put. Rather than doing full on sewing tutorials and things like that, my blog is still up. You can still purchase patterns on my blog, watch the sewing tutorials, you can still do all that stuff. And I'm still gonna be doing that. I'm not giving up on any of that stuff. Like I'm, you know, I'm just deciding to take a step back from it. I'm not saying bye, you're going forever. I'm just taking a step back from it to focus on the things that I truly want to do because like I said, time isn't on our side. Like we have to make the most of our time. And so if you're doing something that's really not serving you the best way, move on from it and take some time from it. Uh, take a step back to tweak it. And if you tweak it and it works better, you come back out with it, then hallelujah, you know, but you're not, it's not going to kill you to try something new. So, <sighs> Woosa, like I feel like this is something for so long that I've been wanting and I've been so afraid to tell and just to be open about it, you know, like it's just, it's so crazy. Like even right now I'm like, oh, wow, this was really truly like, oh, wow. So yeah, I know that was a lot to unpack. Um, it's all the truth. It's everything that I've been going through and it's just, you know, it's, it's a lot, you know, it's a lot. I, like I said, I was struggling and I'm so happy to have been able to make it through. And like I said, I, I really wanted to tell my story that I feel was way long overdue because I feel like it can help some of you guys out there. Like some of us don't even know what the first thing to do is, you know, to get our shit together, get our life together and do right by ourselves. Sometimes you just have to make boundaries with the people in your life and say no to the things that like you don't want to do anymore. Like make boundaries, learn how to say no. Saying no is actually healthy. It's very healthy. So what is next for me? <laughs> that is the big question. Okay, so what's next is me basically stepping away from scenes of a socialite, the brand, and just taking my time with it. Not saying, you know, like I said, not saying bye to it, but just giving it its space given it it's, it's time to rock which means i will not be producing as many sewing tutorials and patterns and all that stuff i will still be blogging on the scenes of a socialite blog um and you still will see tutorials every now and then but i will not be going based on what everybody else is wanting me to do i'm not very like oh we want to turn for this we want to start for that like no Things are now on my time. We're just kind of taking that brand slower until I figure out what I want to do with it. The exciting news is that I decided to take on new and better services that I'm more excited and happy to offer. I actually have a new service page um, that you guys can click on on the Seams of a Socialite blog. Click the link in my description. You guys can check all that out. And last but not least, the last thing the last thing is my baby. It's something that I've been working on for a while already. This is gonna be the biggest shocker of them all. Yeah, wait to next week's video because the, the, everything, the tea on this last thing, I mean, this this last thing is it. It's, it's it, it's it. You talking about new life, this is it. So um, I'm really excited for that. This is, you know, this is just a start. This is a start. This is to break the ice, let everybody know what's been going on and just let you guys know that, listen, I don't need to do any talking. I don't need to do explaining. I already know how I'm coming. You know, I'm, I've gotten so tired of the old way of doing things. We taking this in a different route and I just can't wait to see. I can't wait for you guys to see. I can't wait for your, you guys to be able to support these endeavors. Let me know if you love this video. Give it a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, do all of that. And I will see you next week for next week's video for the big surprise. You don't really want to miss this at all. You don't want to miss it. So I have linked everything in my description. Like, you know, everything that I'm wearing, my top, my hair, everything. Everything is linked in the description. So check it out. And I thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget, guys, living your best life is the new niche. Do not let them box you in. Do not box your own self in. You do you, boo. Do you, girl. Do you. See you later, my pretties.